survive and so will we with only a day and a half left of school. Happy Thanksgiving and, and good, good morning, morning Staples. Staples. Woke up cold one Tuesday. I'm looking tired and feeling quite sick. I felt like there was something missing in my day to day life. So I quickly opened the wardrobe. Some jeans and a t-shirt that seemed clean Topped it off with a pair of old shoes I were ripped around the seams Hi, I'm Parker Stackoff And I'm Hannah Foley Welcome to our Thanksgiving show We'll kick everything off right after the pledge I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America And to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Dodig is here with a few of the very exciting accomplishments from our students. Here he is. <laughs> Gabrielle Weimer was selected as the first runner-up for Fairfield County's Future Global Leader Award. The purpose of the Future Global Leader Program is to reward outstanding students in Fairfield County who have demonstrated leadership in understanding global issues and solving global problems. Gabby will be recognized at the awards ceremony on December 1st. If you see Gabby or have had her in your class, be sure to congratulate her. I'd also like to congratulate everyone in Staples Players for a spectacular, moving, heart-wrenching production of West Side Story. It is a story of love and hate that needs to be seen by every generation. Kudos to the performers, the musicians, the set designer and construction crew, the lighting crew, the stagehands, and all of the adults who led each of those components. It was particularly important for everyone to see after the show on Saturday when everyone was called onto the stage, just how many people it takes to produce a show like that. There were far more people in support positions than who performed. Once again, I felt like a proud dad. Finally, I want to wish everyone in the Staples community a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the food, enjoy the football game, and be thankful for everything we have been blessed with. Thanks, Mr. Dodig. Happy Thanksgiving to you too. One of the nice things about the few days before Thanksgiving is that a number of our graduating students come back for a visit. The Career Center realized that and created an event that has now become a tradition on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Here's Jake with a report. Sub Staples, Jake Reiser here. The College and Career Center has an event coming up for all you seniors. Here's Mrs. Fugit to tell you about it. Next Wednesday, November 23rd, during period six, which is last period, Mrs. Flaherty and I will be hosting our annual college alumni panel in which we invite around six to seven recent Staples High School college graduates from a variety of schools to come back and share their college experience with you firsthand. And it's for seniors and it is meant to de-stress you and um, give you some insightful um, information into what they've learned. We hope that all the seniors will attend, so please see your teacher if you're interested in coming um, or come in here and talk to us and and uh, we hope you all will attend. So it's period six on Wednesday, the half day before Thanksgiving. 
Seniors, please talk to your period six teachers about coming. It should be a really interesting panel. Now let's roll back to the hosts. Thanks, Jake. There are many comings and goings around town. Mike heard a rumor that a popular restaurant in town was closing. He went out to see if the rumor was in fact true. Here's what he found out. I heard a rumor that Friendly was closing, and it is. I went to Friendly this weekend, and I want you to take a look at this. See, it's closed. The lights are off, the big sign outside isn't there, and the sign Friendly's is at the top of the restaurant. It's closed. Permanently. It's a big disgrace. It's a good restaurant, and apparently, now that it's closed, we all gotta find another good restaurant. Thanks, Mike. A couple of weeks ago, we gave you a preview of the jury awards. The award ceremony was last Saturday outside of Chicago. Let's find out how WWPT did. Uh, what a day so far. My bus driver got lost going to New York, even though there's 50 signs that say New York this way. But, you know, he got lost. And now we're delayed an hour and a half on the runway. We're in the last row. I got a nice view of the uh, side of the engine here. Looking forward to the jury awards. Yeah, me, Eric, and Zito, Joni, Hannah, and her entire family in the back. So, I mean, it's just it's some really fun situation going on right now. Right now we're at Cracker Barrel, we're going to get down on some eggs, we're going to have a good time, we're going to show you what Cracker Barrel is all about. Okay. Check this out right here. United States Navy. We're hoping to bring home first place, but just in case, we got a backup plan here. Cracker Barrel is going to provide us with some assistance, so we'll be all good. Welcome to the 2011 John Drury High School Radio Award. John will announce the third place winner, and that individual will come up and receive a certificate. And then the second place winner, again, up for a certificate. And then we'll hear a short clip of the winning entry. Second place goes to... From WWPT, Hannah Foley, Wyatt Davis, and Eric Gallant. In third place, from WWPT, Eric Gallanty and DJ Sixman. In second place, Ben Greenberg and Ben Myers. From WWPT. In third place, from WWPT, Brendan Burris. In second place, Eric Gallanty, DJ Six Smith, and Brendan Edison. Best sports talk program. We have a winner! Good afternoon, you're listening to WWPT Record Radio 90.3 FM, the home of all things stable sports. I'm DJ Sixsmith, and this is an exclusive edition of Sixsmith Sports World. Today, George Bodenheimer, Bob... Exclusive enough to win first place, DJ Sixsmith. <laughs> In third place, Eric Gallanty from WWPT. You guys are going to need a little more uh, room in your luggage on the way back. <laughs> in second place, Ben Greenberg from WWPT. In second place, Dracula Part 2, Jim and Honeycutt's audio production class. And the winner is... Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gwendolyn Harker. I'm 
here tonight because the events that I will relay had a great impact on my family, in particular my dear brother Jonathan, and to his fiancée, my dear friend Mina Murray. I bear witness to the truth of certain events which you may find hard to believe, but I ask you to believe. Yes, indeed. Dracula Part 1, Jimmy Honey Honeycutt's audio production class, and David Rock. Well, there is a large contingent of folks from, from there, and they've traveled a long way, and uh, we're very glad to see you here. Our first place winner from Staples, Connecticut, WWPT. Congratulations to WWPT. You did a wonderful job. We're so happy you could make the trip to be with us here today. So this this one is really special because I mean not only do you have the trophies, do you have the certificates, but you've got the most important trophy, and that is best high school radio station in the country. You now have a year of bragging rights. <laughs> Take full advantage of this. And, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if this is extended beyond a year. So congratulations to WWPT. Well done. Enjoy this year. This, this is Eric's mark from last year. He's banging against the wall, but we didn't get that two point conversion. But it's all good now. We're national champions, guys, so congratulations. Yep, WWPT, number one high school radio station in the country. Congratulations to everyone at WWPT and at Staples. <laughs> congratulations to WWPT, the 2011 number one high school radio station in the country. WWPT took seven of the nine awards offered in the sports categories. One of the reasons for that is that our teams continue to play such incredible games. Which leads us to sports. You're right, Parker. One of the games that will probably be nominated for next year's juries was Saturday's girls' soccer semifinals match against top-seeded and undefeated Glastonbury. There was no score in the match until Abby Lake blasted a rocket into the lower left corner of the net with under 24 minutes remaining. Glastonbury tied the score at 1, 10 minutes later, and neither team scored in either the first or second overtime. The fact that Glastonbury won on penalty kicks does nothing to diminish the incredible season for our soccer team, which included defeating both last year's champion and the runner-up to advance to the Final Four. Also on Saturday, our girls' swim team placed 11th at state opens. Four girls made the All-State team. They are Verdi Abel, Sarah Cooperman, Becca Rabb, and Gabby Wimmer, uh, who Mr. Dodick mentioned earlier. Congratulations to Coach Lux, these four girls, and the entire team on a great season. It's been an incredible fall, but now the calendar turns from fall to winter. Here's Mikhail with a preview of what's to come. Fall sports have come to an end, and winter sports are just about to begin. Here's some clips from last season's winter sports. Thanks, Mikhail. Well, there's still one more fall team that's active, and Thursday morning, the football team plays their most important game of the year so far. Here's a little history lesson that we hope will pump everyone up for Thursday. Because we are the Staples Wreckers. I got the roughest, toughest kids in this state. We go out and prove it.
We'll see you at the game on Thursday. Thanks, Todd. To close out today, Luke went around school to talk to the members of our community about Thanksgiving. What's up, Staples? It's Luke, uh, me, Anthony, and Natasha. We walked around Staples, asked people what they're doing for Thanksgiving. That's what they had to say. So, Patty, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Family and friends. How do you celebrate Thanksgiving? At my house, with my family and my friends. So what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Uh, it means spending time with your family. So I'm uh, going down to New Jersey and spending some time with my cousins. Attaboy. So, Mr. Miller, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday because there's no pressure. It's just food, family, football, all good things. I can't wait. So, what are you doing for Thanksgiving this year? And what does it mean to you? For Thanksgiving, I'm going to be filming the uh, Greenwich versus Staples game here at Staples. And I'm going to have a nice turkey and help my grandparents make the Thanksgiving dinner. So, Matt, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? For Thanksgiving, I'm eating with my family. So what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? I'm going to Long Island to spend time with my family. I'm cheering in the football game. Everyone, come to that. Support your team. All right. Woo! So, what do you do for Thanksgiving? What do I do for Thanksgiving? I eat. I eat too much. Um, I have relatives in Woodstock, New York, so I'm going to visit my family in Woodstock, New York, and then we're going to Guilford, Connecticut to visit my husband's family. Awesome. And my boy is coming home from the University of Vermont, so I'm very excited to see him. I am too, that's great. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Thanks guys, now back to the hosts. Happy Thanksgiving everyone. Enjoy the game and enjoy the holiday. We'll let Eric have the last word for our show today. Give thanks. Turkey for me. Turkey for you. Let's eat the turkey in my big brown shoe. Love to eat the turkey at the table. I once saw a movie with Betty Grable. Eat that turkey all night long. 50 million Elvis fans can't be wrong. Turkey lurkey do and turkey lurkey dap. I eat that turkey, then I take a nap. Thanks to you.